was meh, okay, but the time this person has been waiting, and it's only a hundred dollar commission, but uh, I think I can do better than this one. This was yesterday's. I think I could do a lot better. So I did, just did a, another quick drawing, and uh, let's see if this works. I don't know if I'm streaming. Um, let me check. If I am live. Uh, yeah, I am. Good. Okay, great. I'm on Facebook. Let's see if I'm on YouTube. Let's see if this works. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Hello, everybody out there. We're working, so let's let's do it up. I am live. J-Bo, my bro, what's happening? So this is where I'm at. We did it just did a quick another madman. Um, had on my little uh, laptop to look at them as I drew them. I think I got them. Using my number one. It's my brush I got at. Oh, what's that place called? Uh, Michael's. So, Artist Loft. That was the best of the best. So, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a whirl. Let's try some hair. Everybody's enjoying their Saturday. It's a beautiful day out here on Long Island. Work is never done. Just worked on my thank you letter for Zombie Sama that will be sending that out with everyone who purchased John Broly is in my uh, Zombie Sama book. So thank you for that. And um, appreciate it, guys. All your support for that. Book looks fantastic. Just spoke with John. Um, he, we, for those of you, I don't know if you guys know, we expanded the book from its original 60 pages. It is now 72 pages, thanks to you guys. And John, we, John added a whole bunch of new panels to the existing pages. And now he's adding two more pages, which I guess will be done with it tomorrow. And then we'll, uh, get it finished lettering this week. The design pages, getting the stickers done. It's, it's funny, that's something I learned about the uh, about the stretch goals. And I called John, I'm like, oh my God, we did the stretch goals. And it was like, everyone gets a, a sticker. You know, we hit this goal and the stickers are like almost 600 bucks. <laughs> so I was like, whoa. Your thing, your you can hear my son Matthew screaming again. be in first place tonight. So let's go Yanks. Yeah, so we're gonna get some hair done. Frankenstein has some awesome hair, as does Mike Allred. And of course Laura too, Laura always looks stunning. Great couple. Wonderful people, and uh, just so happy that someone actually asked me to draw Madman. Some people are riding their motorcycles. It's a, like I said, it's a gorgeous day. In the 60s, low, yeah, low 60s. It was hot earlier. Everybody was in shorts and t-shirts. Tomorrow's supposed to be miserable for Mother's Day, so poor moms. Here. 
he's a madman, so I guess we do have some fun with it. Mike has such an amazing, wonderful inking style. Thank you all for getting them. That's one of the reasons why I'm most likely will be stopping doing these. It's so funny, I'm always nervous doing commissions for people. Um, as opposed to like doing covers and stuff, which I have just no fear whatsoever of. I'm using here is Speedball Ink. That was suggested to me by John Brolia, my partner on Zombie Sama. John is currently working on this really awesome Dark Horse project, but he can't announce it yet. But it looks amazing and it just sounds amazing, so I cannot wait till that comes out. Someone's commenting. Let me see. Sorry, guys. Got the comment there. Start the watch party. Steve Howard. The, the, the Steve Howard moment just happened. Boom. Catches me off guard, that little scamp. Sneaky, sneaky Steve. Always coming up on me at shows and stuff and showing out of nowhere. Love that guy. <laughs> what a guy's. Steve, I wish we lived near each other, man. We'd have so much fun. Have you met Mike Allred? Yes. Hey, Brian. What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. I've hung out with, with, with him a lot. He's a... Uh, him and Laura, they're wonderful people. Super talented... Very generous people. Um, one of the best you'll meet in the industry. Seriously. Just, just really great family. Incredibly talented, too. That's my son screaming. Matthew, what are you playing? This is a little bit off, forgive me, but I kind of, yeah, we got to do something better than this time. I don't even know if I set up my YouTube channel for this to go YouTube as well. It's been, because uh, I just want to get it done. So I'm like, ah, let me stream it. They're supposed to be attached, the two of them. Uh, I'm not sure if they are. Yes, all right, Steve, at Heroes for sure. Let's go to dinner, buddy. That'll be a good time. Looking, getting old Joe Sinnott on drawing. Wicked good, Billy. Hey, Jimmy, thank you. So, uh, can we announce it attentively? We have on crowdfunding comics, the one, the only, legendary Joe Sinnott will be our special guest with Niall Scala and myself. This... Friday, Friday evening after dinner. Uh, I guess Mark Sinnott will be there too, who everyone loves Mark. And uh, we're going to have a nice little get together with Joe, one of my heroes for sure. Uh, Jimmy, I told you I was going to call you back, but it's at my son's baseball game. 
earlier, and I didn't charge my phone overnight, so it died at the game. So I'll give you a call tomorrow, buddy, all right? Someone's a murderer in my sense. Let's try Frank's face. Frankenstein's face. Yeah, any of my kids, my wife, or someone will learn how to play guitar or piano so we can have some nice fun music in the background. Copyright free place, you know, one of the classics. Like shaving cream. You know what? I think that might be funny. I bet you Joe Sinnott knows that song, Shaving Cream. And maybe we'll get Joe Sinnott to sing Friday night. Jimmy, if you could bring your guitar when we're live on crowdfunding comics with Joe, um, let's see if we can do that song, Shaving Cream. And I think you guys know it. Um... A baby fell out of the window. You'd think that her head would have split. But good luck was with her that morning. She fell in a pile of shaving cream. <laughs> Shave every day and you'll always look clean. One of my favorites. brush. You guys like dry brush? Jimmy T, do you like dry brush? Mark Schultz is a master at it. You guys definitely know Mark Schultz. I got mine. I'm going to add some nice reds to this, some nice blues to it. Apologies to Mr. Allred with this if it comes out crappy. I do truly do love your character. I still have my Madman mouse pad I got at Golden Apple in 1995, and I still use it. It's a Graffiti Designs. I think I got it at Golden Apple unless I bought it from Graffiti Designs in 95 at San Diego. I know I got it in California. That was my Madman towel. I have a Madman beach towel. And it's got a rip in it, and Debbie said she'll clean it for me. She'll uh, sew it for me. Matthew! Telling people he's not the murderer. Let me 
did check my camera to make sure that this is actually working and that I'm actually on camera. Yeah, okay, good. You guys can see it, right? I should back the camera up a little bit. It was so nice, and I started adding a little more shading to it when I don't have to. Just my cell phone. So as I said, everybody's joining me. Hello on a Saturday. I'm sure you all have you know, a better thing to do if you guys are working too. Welcome aboard. And again, I guess for cartoonists and comic artists and I guess a lot of creative types, they're like, what's a weekend? <laughs> Look forward to the weekends if, for when Billions comes on. Saturday night, uh, Sunday night, and of course tomorrow's Mother's Day. This light, Levin's Media Center light, and it's a cooking. Yeah, let's open that window up. Oh, that's a nice breeze. And there goes a whole bunch of pencils. Facebook page. If you guys are asking questions, sorry. Let me take a look. I'll answer them. There we go. We're live. Got to finish raking in case of. Uh, it's going to rain tomorrow. Supposed to get a lot of rain. Yeah, I was supposed to. I got to fix. Uh, Part of the fence. Flower beds are disgusting, so I gotta do that. I just I wanna get this zombie summer book done and out. And uh, working on the uh, she what's we call it as well? The she ash can edition I'm working on, the zombie summer book and my comp and the company Z um, preview added added its company Z stuff, which is gonna be a bunch of cool drawings and photos and uh, script. Not script, but uh, treatment, things like that. Commission.io, what's up? Uh, 
Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm... what time is it? Oh, it's 5.30. Someone will be able to help you there and put them in for you. It would be nice. Thank you. Bye. Mom's getting flowers for her mother. So, Mom, if you're watching, I know she's on Facebook. You. She wanted me to help her. And I'm, I can't because I'm with you fine people. So. But you know, she said it would be nice. It would. My wife likes some. Fake flowers. Like like nice designed fake flowers because the they don't die. She thinks regular flowers are a waste of time, but she does love tulips. That's her favorite. And I guess it's coming to the end of tulip season, right? Oh man, I love Grendel. Uh, who said that? Who said that? I just saw it. Jonathan Mills. I love Grendel, man. I love that character. I, I even love this Christina Spar character. Um, actually, that's kind of was how I got back into comics. Was actually the Pander Brothers. Grendel, um, my teacher, one of my professors at FIT came to me and she's like, you have to do this. This is what you should do is comics. This style looks like yours. For some reason, she thought the Pander Brothers style was a little like mine. And uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, wow, that looks cool. So I'd asked John Tartaglioni, who's my best friend Johnny's um, uh, father, who was like my mentor, if you guys know John Tartaglioni, longtime inker, uh, art director, penciler at Marvel, incredible painter, art, all-around artist. And uh, he was like my mentor, Daddio, I called him. And uh, he worked with Joe Sinnott a lot. Uh, Joe and, um, I don't know if Jimmy's still on. Uh, Jimmy's gone, I think, because he had to finish. Um, John worked with Joe Sinnott a lot. They were really good friends. So I, I, I remember like looking at these pages, and I would see George Perez, you know, giant George Perez pages and stuff like that, and, and ask and say, you know, wow. You know, this is amazing. How you know how much these guys get paid to do this? And I'm thinking, you know, if I would do a page like that, man, it would take me, you know, it would have taken me a week to do a page. And he told me, well, they'll start you off at probably like twenty five dollars a page. And I was like, oh my god. You know? But I got in the bug, and I'm like, you know what? Oh, I, I, that's what it was. And then you know, I was a little, um, eh, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I won't do comics. I don't know. I really wanted to do it. And then I saw um, some of the, the image guys, what they were doing. And I love their energy. I love the, and I'm like, you know what? I could do this. I could do my own book. And I went to San Diego Comic-Con in 1993 online. I was waiting online, um, trying to get work from Marvel and DC and anyone else would look at it. And I it was rejected by everybody except a Brian Polito offered me a pinup. And that pinup ended up being in the Lady Death swimsuit issue. And if you if you look at it, this he had asked me to do it before she even came out. So, and I think he said it was a sw the swimsuit issue didn't come out till two years later after I met him. Um, but when he had asked me to do it, I think it was just maybe it was just a pinup. And that's why if you look at mine, my 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 Lady Death in the Lady Death pinup book uh, swimsuit issue. She's not in a swimsuit. She's kind of, but it kind of worked because she's in kind of a mermaid dress. So that was kind of cool. But Brian was the only one, and I talked to Brian, and Brian was, you know, telling me, you know, just he was really cool to me, and actually spent time with me. He had a little six foot table. I believe he was with Stephen with Stephen Hughes and Jason Jensen. They had this little table in Artist Alley, and he. Uh, he, uh, the next, you know, he's like, yeah, I got the, you know, I got the new character coming out. This is my Evil Ernie stuff. And, again, I mean, I must have talked to every 
buddy in small press and and we just sent it me mark sasso my buddy mark sasso um end up hanging out with brian uh you know at his table and just talking to him and stuff and and uh well look what happened the next year forget it we were it was crazy the next year i don't know if anybody was at san diego that year in 94 but i we just couldn't believe it you know debbie and i were just blown away by you know of how big she had gotten and they had moved us to a uh to another area uh to to this autograph signing area and they put me next to william shatner <laughs> me i think it was me barry uh, orkin and peter gutierrez and uh just crazy just crazy just so much fun you know um and uh now i'm, I'm super excited that we got our airfare and we are officially guests this year for the first time at San Diego Comic Con. And uh, so that's, well, if anyone's going, it'll be me, Deb, the boys. Uh, Crystal and Rick Van Diver will be there. I don't know if Soloff's going to make it this year. But our friends Trey and Stephanie will be there. Gonzalez. Maybe Karen can come, Martinez. be a lot of fun but San Diego is always Matthew. hey Will yeah, come here bro yeah you gotta go help mom get flowers bro for grandma thank you I know yeah it's gonna close Mateo Because it's your grandmother. My grandmother? You're going to get flowers for grandma and mommy can't carry them. And Aunt Lala and your godmother. So go. Get some Lay's potato chips You're and all that. Coming. Nope, I'm working. I'm going to throw some red. I got my paints. I got a, some nice blue gouache, turquoise blue gouache, right here. That I've had since college. So I've had this this probably since 1988. And then I got some red watercolor, some Rembrandt, nice red. So we're gonna. That's gonna be red. And maybe we'll do his hair if I can find a brown. Yesterday we were experimenting with a lot of things, and it just wasn't right. Uh, guys, everyone, if you're out there and I owe you a commission, they are all being done. I'm doing two a week. So. Thank you for being patient with me. Really, really appreciate that. But I wanted them all to come out great. And I, like I said, I get nervous with commissions for some reason. All right, that's kind of cool, right? Madman. That eye's got to be a little silly. What I did is I, I was wanting to give him a cool expression. I like this eye far better than that one. But it looks kind of cool, like he's making an expression. I'm going to probably smile a little bit. So he's got a little smirk. Get his head both of them. Yeah, I will. Joe Falcone, what's up? Make him a redhead. He's not a red. He's got brown hair, actually. Hey, Joe. Hey, Sean. How are you guys? Good to see you guys. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday. It's a lot cooler. I don't know if the angle is right. Alright, so let's play with some red. Let's throw some red in there. Let's do the red first. Turn the brush. 
think that's good for the inks. This works. Nice turquoise. If it's dangerous, you put it over the. Yeah, that's a madman turquoise. There we go. Yeah, that works. That actually has to be a lot thicker. Yeah, it's not thick enough. I got a napkin. Paper towel. And there's the cat. Hey, cat! What are you doing?
guys join me on Monday, I'll be doing a painkiller Jane for Jimmy and, and Amanda for their Kickstarter rewards. We're doing a pinup for them. Kind of fun, right? Kind of clean, kind of fun. Let's add some red now. Trusty Leatherman. Let's give it a whirl, see if it works. Sounds really red. Hello, kitty. Yeah, yeah, come on down. Come on. Come on down. Yeah, drop it. That's not the right red. I don't know if I have the right red. Uh, Matt, Mike's Mad Man's got that really great red with those awesome flat, solid colors. I just don't think I have it. Let's go to the art store. Let me finish this. Right. 
Let's bash this. Else out there have cats? I'll do that. Hold on, kitty. Too red. Mike's red's got a lot more purple in it. Let's see how this looks. Hang on, kitty. Is that better? Is that light better? Badman. Uh, I think that's about it. It's actually red, really. Get some cool red streaks or something. Do I have brown? What if I do? Yes, kitty. Yeah. Oh, I do have a brown. Ooh. Acrylic. There's another red. Which red is this? Candy and deep red. Let's try this red. Yes, yes. A little less orange. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's a better red. I can see it right off the beginning. It's a right off the beginning. Much better than the red. The red blush. That's a good red right there, baby. Oh yeah, see that? Much better. Wunderbar. Much better. All right, nice deep color. All right. How dark is that brown? How deep is your love, huh, kitty? How deep is your love? All right, got some brown here. Sure Frank has that brown hair. I'm gonna add that. Then we add some more little, little more regular brush strokes. Another liner. Yeah, yeah. It's still wet. Shit. Don't let things dry, Billy.
Very nice. Also, if you guys ever see Mike, Mike uh, Oliver, thank him. He's a army veteran, stationed in Germany, I believe, among other places. Mike is a U.S. Army veteran. As is um, James O'Barr, United States Marine Corps veteran. Mark Bagley is an Army veteran as well. Uh, who else? Let's see. I'm trying to think. Who else is uh, in the service? You know, I, uh, if I said Joe Center, of course, Joe. Combat veteran Joe is. Have I ever heard of the room, Joe Falcone? Yes. The the Tommy um Yeah, man, I, I I've been a fan of that movie for golly, when did that come out? Like two thousand and two or something? I mean that movie came out a long time ago. He's either a super genius or a nut. Which I guess he could be both. There you go. I think we're done with him. Not too shabby. It's not a super expensive one. And I'm going to give him this the, this the second go. I like it far better. I think the drawing's a lot better. Uh, here's the first. I think I got, wasn't happy with it, overworked it. But I'll give him that one as a gift, I guess. And then this one's far, I think this is far superior. I'm going to add a little more red here. Billy gets in and starts overworking everything. My cat's sleeping on my chair behind me. Man, Mike Allred's immortal Frank 
and style. Let's see. If you guys are asking me questions, I'm going to answer them. I'm sorry. Let me check my... The Don Tucci. Ah, Robert. The, the, the Don Delgado. Good to see you, my friend. That's ten minutes ago, so I'm totally falling behind. I apologize. No cats. <laughs> Yeah, Debbie, Debbie likes cats, so. And she was abandoned, and she's a good kitty. Sophie. Let me show you her. Let's see. I'll show you Sophie. That cat. Pencil shavings. <laughs> hey, Sophie. Hey. What's that? What's that? What? I need a new one of them plastic things. All right. Six o'clock. The Madman. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to give it a nice circle design behind his head, but I'm not going to color it. I'm just going to... Uh, I might add that blue. Maybe I'll make that circle blue. Let's see. Let's put this down. Is that a nice little circle? Now I can make that circle red, or I can make it blue. I like the idea of the red. I might let me load it better. Yikes! Watch the Yankee game. It's his baseball season. Hmm. What to do with that circle? What to do with that circle? I could go with the blue and add a nice blue to it. Barbie's telling me to go red, but then I added this outline for the blue, so I think I have to do the blue. So let's do blue. Why not?
and this wasn't a super expensive commission anyway, so don't kill yourself, Dave. All right, there he is. Man, man. Done. Okay, gotta get back to writing my letter and stuff. Write this kid out here. Madman. Mike Allred's Madman. Done by me. So there it is. Thank you guys for joining me. Let's see if I can see the whole drawing. If I do it like this, I'll straighten this out like that. We'll see. There you go. This is your old pal, Billy Tucci, coming to you live from the Blevins Media Center. Good night. <laughs> cool way to end it. Bye-bye. Oh, one more time. Where is he? Whoa, there he is. Maybe we could zoom in on it and shut it off as I'm zooming in. Get like artsy no. Let's see. All right. Thanks, guys. Everyone have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day. And uh, thanks for uh, spending some time with me.